Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Last fall, I bought a thing called a big bag. At least that's what I'm calling it. It's a leaf bag that you put on the back of a lawnmower to capture all the leaves. The bagger on my lawnmower has two baskets on it that will hold each about a bushel. But by the time you get done mowing the yard, once the leaves have fallen, you go 10 feet, you got a bushel, and the bagger starts filling up. This one, because of the way the, the leaves are chopped up by the blades and shredded, this actually held one pass around the front yard, and then another pass around the backyard was a separate bag. So makes a lot less work because you can drive the mower around, fill the bag, and then go back in the back and dump it and then go around again. Well, that all sounded good, but I forgot something. In my hubris, thinking that I had an invincible operation and everything was going to work just fine, I decided to try and see just how much it would hold. Well, it held the whole yard. But unfortunately, just at the last of it, it hooked on something. Now the bagger does one thing. It takes everything that the, the deck picks up and puts it into the bag. The deck picks up rocks, dirt, sticks, leaves, everything that it comes over the top of. It's a vacuum cleaner. And it picks up an enormous amount of dirt. The bag got so heavy that when it went over the top of something that was sharp, it hooked in and tore. Little tears at first, and then it caught. This was the original big tear. And it went across. Originally just a small section of the bag. It's about that long. When I went to take the bag off and picked up the bag, the whole bottom tore out of it. I had too much weight in it. That weak point caused it to rip. So I'm going to have to sew this back together again because I want to see if I can do it. No other reason than that. It was $24 to buy another one, probably going to be $50 now. But it was $24 to buy one at the time. And I said, I'll just buy another one in the spring. But I'm sitting here looking at this thing thinking, I wonder if I could just put that back together again and improve it while I do it. I have an idea. I want to seam this thing back together again and then take some tarps that I have, uh, plastic tarps, and sew them as a skid plate for on the bottom of it. That way I can attach that skid plate to the tractor with ratchet straps so that the load is borne by the skid plate and the ratchet straps rather than the cloth of the bag. So that one, the skid plate will catch all the damage and uh, buying a new tarp is actually relatively inexpensive. And it also, with the ratchet straps, will take all the load of dragging the weight. So when I get back to the back, and also I'm never going to try and do the whole yard at once again, I have to learn new tactics. But by doing that, I believe I can make this bagger work again. Now how am I going to seam this thing? How am I going to make it hold together? Well, when the bag was made, they made a seam like this. This seam extends into, this is the inside of the bag. So the outside of the bag only has this little relatively smooth surface showing. So I'm going to take, turn the bag inside out. Bring them together.
make it overlap. Pitting them together. Then run a, a stitch a line down the length of this thing, joining this together, then fold it over and stitch it through from the outside so that I'm making a double seam. That should hold it together, especially if I make this the top of the bag and put the uh, stronger side on the bottom. I'll be able to take the part that didn't get all the little bits and tears in it and turn it into a bag again. So now that I've got this one seam pinned together, I'm going to run a stitch down to the length of this thing, see if I can't get it to hold together while I get this one piece sewed up. And you just pull the pins out. Well, 
like so.
This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.